Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we're starting a new series on my channel this week. Um, today's vlog is a little bit late in the day, but I'm starting quarantine week. Shout out to Yanni Rose, my sis Yanni. She started this um, like thing. It's quarantine week. We're all in quarantine. She's gonna be vlogging for the next seven days straight. And she was like, you should do it too. And I was like, you know what, I think, Y'all would enjoy that because you really liked Vlogmas, where I vlogged for 25 days. I'm going to try and do something self-care related at least once a day for the next seven days. So, today's self-care related thing is going to be brows. I'm actually going to be doing a DIY brow lamination and tinting at home. I already tweezed them and I actually had filmed that for you guys because I was going to do this whole like DIY maintenance week at home during quarantine. But then I was just like, let me just incorporate it into quarantine week as a, like a whole. So doing every part of that video like on a different day as opposed to putting everything in one super long video. I wanted to do it back when I saw everyone like paying thousands of dollars to get their their maintenance done. And I was just like, you know what? What if the girls and boys don't have thousands of dollars to spend on maintenance and they want to still, you know, look cute, feel good, look beautiful, all that jazz. Let me do a DIY one because I love to be a DIY queen. I feel like that's just my thing, you know? I was going to do nails, brow lamination, brow tinting, and waxing. Um, lash extensions, DIY lash extensions, and like a skincare, like my own skincare facial situation. All at home, all within one week. So that's what quarantine week is gonna be. Instead of doing one video for all of those things, I'm just gonna be doing it every single day this week. Like I'm gonna be doing a different thing. So, so it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna feel really cute by the end of the week, even though I'm not going anywhere. I'm doing it just to be inside. But we do have to practice social distancing. Everyone should stay home because we're trying to flatten the curve. I know it sucks and I know it feels like, oh my God, when is this gonna end? New York City has it really bad. It's bad everywhere, but like, it sucks here. I'm going crazy. I haven't been outside in five weeks. Um, but you know what like we just have to we have to get this whole situation under control because i'm trying to have like a slice of summer like i need to have some kind of summer or else i'm i don't think i'm gonna be able to do it so stay home folks okay stay home watch this video turn on your post notifications there will be a new video every single day this week make sure your notifications are turned on honey okay be ready give this video a thumbs up if you're excited um leave me a comment down below i love writing back to you guys yeah, let's just jump into this because I've done a lot of talking at this point. <laughs> okay, so I'm set up in front of my like little filming setup because I wanted this to be clear for you guys even though it's still technically a vlog. Um, but today I'm going to be doing my brow lamination and my brow tinting at home. I'm a little nervous because I've actually never done this before. <laughs> But I watched like a crap ton of videos and it's honestly pretty easy. So yeah, I mean, the worst that can happen is like I perm my eyebrows completely off and I have no eyebrows. But like I'm also home. So let's just see what happens. You know, like we're just going to see what happens because I'm bored. <laughs> honestly, if I perm my eyebrows off, that'll probably be the most exciting thing that's happened to me all month. So, but I purchased this. This is actually an eyelash perming kit. This is for that, but you can also use it on your eyebrows, of course. So if you can use it on your eyelashes, you can use it on your eyebrows. So I purchased this off of Amazon. I've had this for so long. I purchased this like over a month ago. I've been wanting to do this, but I just never really got around to it. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I just um, tweezed my brows a little bit more. Just to clean them up, I didn't like change the shape or anything. But this is what my brows look like. They're not bad, it's just that they grow to the side. Like they kind of go this way and whenever I fill them in or I'm, yeah, whenever I'm filling them in with makeup 
or anything like that. I'm using a lot of brow gel to make them go up because I want them to look fuller because I just personally like a fuller brow. I have a big ass forehead and I feel like I could take up some of this space with my eyebrows, you know, like, so I'll be brushing them up. And this, this brow, like the hairs in the front grow up and then the rest of them go to the side, but this one, they just grow to the side, like. So I'm just curious, like I wanna see what this brow lamination is about. I'm taking number four in the kit, which is the cleanser. Probably get like, maybe two uses or three tops out of this kit, which is not bad. I think it was like, $20. I lied. It was definitely 20 bucks. Which isn't bad though. Okay, so I've seen this done two separate ways. I've seen people use the kit with the eyelash glue that comes with it and then I've seen people not use the eyelash glue at all because apparently the perming solution is strong enough where you don't need to use the eyelash glue to hold your hairs in place. But I'm gonna go ahead and use it because it comes with the kit and my hairs are pretty like straight. The false lash glue, this comes in the kit. This is what it looks like. And then I'm gonna take a spoolie and I'm gonna brush my hairs up. in the direction that I want them to be permed. I should have trimmed my brow right there. <laughs> okay, so this eyebrow looks so crazy. This just has the glue in it, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. And I was like, oh my gosh, am I supposed to look? I had to go back and watch one of the tutorials that I used for research purposes, because I was like, um, I don't remember her eyebrows being this crazy, but then I realized everybody's eyebrows are different, and I just have really weird looking eyebrows. They're like long, but they're not that thick. I mean, I have hairs. I know there are people who have less eyebrow hairs than me, but they're not as full as I'd like them to be. Baby. Okay, so I'm just brushing that glue through. And I'm brushing the brow hairs up in the direction that I want them to be permed. My brows are cousins, they're not sisters. But we gonna make them sisters today. I'm gonna go in with the Perming solution, this is number one. Bottle number one in the kit. Focus for me, thank you very much. Like this smells like, it smells weird. It reminds me of the, when I used to get my hair, the Japanese hair straightening, that smell of that perm. That's exactly how it smells. That's exactly how it smells. So I'm just taking this on the Q-tip and applying it to my brows. I just have a really good feeling about this brow. Like, I just feel like this one's gonna just really just do it for me. <laughs> I have a really good feeling. And then you wanna take a piece of saran wrap or cling wrap, whatever you wanna call it. And you wanna cover your brows for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna Place this over my brows. Oh my god, it looks so crazy. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna set a timer on my phone. 10 minutes. You didn't hear it, but 10 minutes is up, so we're about to take this off. So I'm just gonna peel this off. Ooh. That feels good. Yo, this stuff really smells like that Japanese hair straining <laughs> stuff. Like, it literally smells just like that. That's giving me flashbacks. So next thing you wanna do is clean off the perming solution, which was number one, so that's this stuff. So I'm taking the tissue and I'm just wiping off whatever residue is there. The brows feel a little sticky. This brow looks so good, oh my God. Oh my God! She looks so good. Oh, she stings. It's really just my skin. It's not even like, it doesn't sting in here. It stings around my eyebrow. And that's because I was just tweezing it right before I filmed this video. So 
that's what my brows look like i'm gonna go in with bottle number two bottle number two is the fixation and i'm gonna apply it to my brow This isn't, this smells like the same thing too. I'm really like, I just really like the way this brow looks. This is brow goals for me. I'm like being really generous with this cause I just don't know how much I'm supposed to apply and I don't want to apply too little. So I'm really layering it on there. Like kind of thick. And then you want to go on with a second piece of saran wrap. I don't I don't know why I wouldn't use re I wouldn't reuse the same one, but that's just me. And you're just gonna stick it on for another 10 minutes. Boom baby. It says another 10 to 12 minutes. I'm just gonna do 10 because Again, I'm not trying to perm my eyebrows off of my face. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and set another 10 minute timer. Okay, we're almost, we're 11 seconds away from having to peel this baby off. We're almost done. I'm excited to see what they turn out to be. I mean, they look real crazy right now, but like, they also look good, you know, like. Ooh. There go the timer. So you're gonna peel this off. Ooh, this feeling is very, ooh, relaxing. Okay, okay, and my dumbass didn't realize, I kept reading the directions and it was saying to use the Y tool to, cl to clean off the product, the perming lotion. I didn't even realize that there was a little box that said clean tools in here. And this is the Y tool. Uh, <laughs> I did not know that. So one side has like a little comb and the other side is flat. So I was supposed to use that to clean off the perming lotion as opposed to my tissue, but I'm gonna do that with this now. I'm just gonna comb that product off. That's a sharp little comb right there. <laughs> she kinda sharp. Um, I'm just combing this product out of my brows. Wow, did I lose a hair? Oh wow, I lost two little brow hairs. They weren't long ones, but they were little. I'm just using the flat side to take off any product. Whoa, my brows, <laughs> they are plastered down. The next step is to take the bottle number four, which is the cleanser. That was the first bottle that I used and just clean my brows. I'm just gonna. Clean my brows of that fixation. Yeah, there was definitely still um, the fixation product in my brow hairs because the Q-tip turned a little blue and that was the color of it. Mmm, I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. Just to go back in with the comb side and just comb through after you did the cleanser. Yeah, there's still product in there because it's coming off on the comb. And then the last step is to take number three, which is the nutrition. It looks like a, like an oil, like a vitamin E kind of oil or something. But this is number three and you're just gonna apply that to your brows. 
I want to actually, I want to trim my brow, this hair, this one a little bit because it's a little too long for my liking. These are not even the proper scissors to be honest, but that's so much better. I'm gonna take a Q-tip and the oil. It says it has collagen in it, which is actually really good. And I'm just gonna apply the nutrition to my brow. Well, that feels good. It feels calming. My brow looks so freaking good. Oh my gosh. It looks so good. This is what I needed. I needed brow lamination in my life. That's what I needed. Holy crap. My eyebrows look so good. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this once a month. I don't wanna do it too much and my eyebrows fall out, but I'm definitely gonna be doing this once a month for sure. My eyebrows look so freaking good. <gasps> oh my God. I'm just gonna push these hairs down a little bit. My eyebrows look amazing. They look so good. I'm supposed to be tinting them now, but like, I don't even know. Like, do I want to tint them? I don't even need to. I don't even need to tint them. I want to tint them just so I can show you guys, but like, I don't even need to tint them. Okay, so, yeah, this is just what my brows are looking like. They look really good. I'm so pleased with the outcome. I think they look amazing. I'm curious to see how long this is going to actually last and i'm also curious to see what like the um if there's like any negative things about this like are my brows gonna fall out i'm curious like i'm just curious you know i mean it doesn't really have um any like negative reviews online from the youtube videos that i've watched and just the reviews underneath the um, actual purchase on Amazon. I'll have it linked down below in the description box for you guys because I did purchase it on Amazon. I just went ahead and did my glowy nighttime skincare routine. So my skin looks super glowy and just moisturized and just good. I'll have that linked in the corner. I don't know if it's this corner or this corner, but I'm gonna have it linked for you. So you can go ahead and watch that if you're curious to see what I put on my skin before I go to sleep. But yeah, the only thing that I would say that I would do differently next time um, is to wear gloves because the perming solution has a very strong set, um, has a very strong scent, and so does the fixation. It smells like perm, like hair perm, but I don't really like. I mean, I don't like that smell. I mean, maybe somebody likes it, but I don't like it. So I feel like it's kind of stuck on my fingers, even though I wash my hands about two times. There's like a little bit of a a hint of it on my fingers that'll probably go away in maybe like a day or two um but next time i'm just gonna wear gloves when i do it so that i don't have that issue but i think they came out really good i really love how my brows turned out Sorry, I just keep looking at my brows. They look so good. Like, they look amazing. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed today's self-care vlog for quarantine week, then make sure you give it a thumbs up down below. There will be a new video tomorrow. It will be posted earlier than this one. I know this one was a late night upload. That's because I woke up super late today. I woke up at, like, 5.30. Like, honestly ridiculous i'd be staying up until like 9 10 in the morning and then i sleep and i wake up and it's five o'clock in the nap in the afternoon like i need to get out of that sleep schedule because it's not productive for me so tonight i'm gonna go to sleep early 
and I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow and I'm gonna have a new video for you guys earlier in the day but it's gonna be self-care related for quarantine week like we spoke about earlier in this video so if you're looking forward to it then make sure your post notifications are turned on make sure you click that like button down below if you enjoyed this video if you think my brows look good give me a thumbs up I should get a thumbs up simply because of how great my brows look like i should just get a thumbs up for that alone you know i have a tutorial for these nails that i did on myself as well that's my last video so this is the video before this one that was doing really well so if you want to know how i got this set in quarantine then make sure you go check that out i love you guys so much don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye